levels, what are the ranges that we're looking for. The, the adequate test or the proper test to really check your vitamin D levels, it's a test called 25-OH-D, 25-hydroxyvitamin D. This is the form of vitamin D that comes out of your liver. So your, remember I told you your sun hits your cholesterol on your skin and then that, that produces an inactive vitamin D that then goes to the liver and it gets converted and turned into this substance right here. Okay, So this is the most accurate way to assess vitamin D status in the body. And it's a very simple blood test. For most of you, insurance is going to cover it if you have it. But what you're looking for as far as a range, now the lab's going to give you a range ranging anywhere from 20 to 100. Sometimes I see labs listed as 32 to 100. I've even seen some esoteric labs listed as 40 to 100, meaning these are normal ranges. And this is nanograms. Um, this is a nanogram range. So if you're not in the U.S., you probably there may be a different calculation that's being used. So this is U.S. or stateside. Um, and so ideally, if you especially if you have any of these types of conditions, you know you really want to strive for 50 is what you want to hit for between 50 or 70. You know, somewhere in that neighborhood is going to be much better positioned. I like to see people with autoimmunity over 70, between 70 and 100 to be more ideal. Now, one of, the, one of the things, one of the other myths that you might hear about vitamin D is that, you know, if you get it over, you know, it's fat soluble, therefore it's toxic. Not so much. Vitamin D actually has a lower toxicity level than water. You have a greater likelihood of over consuming water and drinking water than you do of over supplementing with vitamin D. That being said... That's not carte blanche for you to just go out and buy, you know, mega cases of vitamin D and just start pounding it down. You know, it, a, a standard dose or standard range of doses that, that many doctors recommend um, as far as units of vitamin D, because that's typically the type of dosing that it comes in is something called an international unit. But depending on if you're an adult, we're talking about usually therapeutically 6,000 units a day to 10,000 units a day and these have both been studied these doses the dose ranges have been studied in medical literature to be extremely safe and extremely effective for years so it's very, there's very little risk of developing a toxicity at even at these doses which are you know much much higher than what the uh, US RDA value or recommendation is for vitamin D so again I don't want you to have the fear of toxicity even at 10,000 units a day there just aren't really any reported cases of vitamin D toxicity. As a matter of fact, I think one of the only reported cases of toxicity ever was a nutritionist who thought he was, ta I think he thought he was taking 10,000, but the, the, the pill itself was like a million, or the dose he was getting was a million and not 10,000. He Even then, he took it for a, a, a longer than a year before he started to develop toxicity symptoms. So it, it's not likely that you're going to develop a toxicity off of six to 10,000 units a day. Very, very safe ranges. So again, you know, a lot of doctors, this is where they'll put you. Um, many, actually many go far below this. Many doctors will put you on 2,000 units a day. And I will just say this, if you're on 2,000 units a day to correct a deficiency of below 20 or below 32, you're, you're probably, well, let me give you an analogy. If you spit on a forest fire, are you going to put it out? No. If you give 2,000 units to somebody who's under 20, are you going to correct that deficiency? Not even close. You're not going to budge that number, not a single bit. You're not going to budge it. So um, you've got to really be within this level if you're going to push these numbers up to some of these ranges here that you see. Now, some doctors will also give a 50,000 unit pill and tell you to take it per week. Um, and that can raise it up, but I, in my own personal practice, I see that 50,000 units per week is less effective than giving a daily dose. So it's in you know, my opinion, it's more important to give it daily at lower doses. I, my, one of my favorites is a 10,000 unit dose for a 150 pound person a day, and then to recheck the levels three months out. Rechecking the levels is important. You don't just want to supplement with vitamin D and definitely without any kind of measurement or objective outcome because obviously you're doing it for a reason. You want to make sure you're doing it for the right reason. So don't just, again, don't just start taking vitamin D just because you want to do it without first assessing your levels and seeing where they're at. Hey, don't forget to check out the rest of the series right here. Make sure you hit subscribe below. And as always, thanks for tuning in.